You directed Trainwreck, coming yes. out very soon, July 17th. Amy, this is a highly anticipated movie, yes. uh, and I got to see some of it, and it was absolutely hilarious. Loved it. Um, and, and, and I'm anxiously awaiting it. You were directing athletes yes. in this film, and you've done this before, but like yeah. LeBron James. You direct LeBron James exactly. in this movie. What's that experience like? It's weird because I, I was so bad at sports, and I was always picked last in gym class, mm -hmm. and it makes me kind of hate athletes and hate just people who are in good physical shape. <laughs> like if I see a, like, it doesn't even make sense. I still hold on to it. Like if I see like a guy working out, he's like 40, he's got his shirt off, I always have the same reaction, which is, that guy. <laughs> like, I, just because I was picked last in gym class? Yeah, yeah. And, Good for you. That's healthy. It is healthy. And it's, you're always holding your kid's hands while you yeah, yell exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. After That's you watch right, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it's weird for me because I don't connect with athletes that way. But he's the nicest guy. He's very sweet. But I did like to direct him because I was able to dominate him. <laughs> <laughs> and it's rare that I get to dominate, like, you know, like... You're in control. The Babe Ruth of basketball. And so it was so fun. And he, he really is hilarious in the movie. It's unsettling how funny he is. We have a, a clip here. This is a clip that's not even in the movie. This is just a, uh, them rolling on you directing Yes, this LeBron. is for the documentary about the movie. This is how I directed LeBron, because he has a very deep voice, and that was causing some problems in the movie, so I had to adjust him. Let's take a look at this clip. I'm a little concerned that you have a deep voice. Okay. Sometimes when a voice is very deep, it's hard for people to hear it. Like, and if like you, now? Well, it's deep, and so like for certain people, they can't hear that. So if you're a little bit higher, like can you talk like, the way I'm talking? And they say, say, hey, Judd, how's hey, it going? Like, like, hey, like the, Judd, how's it going? Like, like that's like a hey, hey, It's less intimidating. Huh. So think, no, like, hey, Judd. Um, like it's scary. Hey, hey, well, hey. In the middle, in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, and then it'll help. So what I'd like you to do is just, we're doing a little vocal exercise. Okay. Okay, just to get used to it. Because I want you to understand the range of okay. your voice. Okay? Right. Here's the range. All right. And copy me. All right. Okay, we'll do it together. Oh, well, where's it? Where's it? It's like an instrument for that thing, right? Well, it's much, so you have much more range than you think. So let's do it together. Okay. I'll say, hey, John, how's it going? Hey, John, how's it going? Yeah. Oh, it, it worked perfect. I, I feel like Mike Tyson. That's much more like it. Yeah. And that's not bad. <laughs> You're like Hitchcock. Yeah. Drawing your performance out. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.